Yo, how's it going everybody? It's Sketch and welcome back to the channel. And before there was Dead Space, there was Space Gun. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the arcade rail shooter Space Gun, developed and published by Taito. Releasing to the arcade in 1990, then getting a port to the home microcomputers and the Sega Master System in 1992, believe it or not. Though for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the arcade version, which is also available on Taito Legends Volume 1 for the Xbox and PlayStation 2. So what's this game about exactly? Well, it's pretty straightforward with its influence of the Alien franchise and the story isn't much different to be honest with you. In 2039, deep space colonies are established throughout the solar system and a distress call comes from one of the ships where an undisclosed danger has crippled the craft. You go on board with a machine gun to investigate and wipe out the alien threat and hopefully get any survivors you find back to Earth. Gameplay wise, you have a 2D on rail shooter in the vein of Operation Thunderbolt where it's encouraged to shoot the limbs and other appendages off the alien threat while rescuing any hostages you can find. It's also really easy to shoot a hostage on accident because will run in front of your crosshairs constantly. Sometimes they even give you the quick ooey and turn into an alien as they run towards you in the later levels. You also have several power-ups for your gun like flame rounds, cryogenic rounds, and even a trusty fragmentation round. And similar to Operation Wolf, instead of running out of ammo per se, your gun can overheat and drastically reduce your firing speed, which depending on the situation can leave you in the bit of a pinch. So managing your gun temperature and keeping your fire around the upper level is paramount to getting far in this game. Aliens will pop out in very spots on the screen and throw a bevy of often unavoidable projectiles at you so there's gonna be a lot of times where you're just going to soak up damage and there's nothing you can really do about it while the enemies aren't overly spongy they will take a good amount of shots to put down especially during the boss encounters which are pretty awesome in this game reducing enemies to a gelatinous pace though has never been more fun or visceral and space gun has an over-the-top amount of gore and it's absolutely awesome for it graphics wise space gun is running on the Taito Z system board and it looks similar to operation Thunderbolt as far as the sprite work, the environments, and also the horizontal and vertical scrolling. And again, you can tell that they were really into Alien and that's what they were going for as far as the vibe and they pretty much nail it here to the T. There's a lot of corridors and open environments and you'll even go as far as to have a few segments when you're outside of the ship hurling through space. So there's some pretty dope stuff in here as far as how the visuals are. The sprite animation in this game too is also pretty sick, especially with the kills. Enemies fly apart in grand fashion in this game and it does look pretty gnarly. So I remember seeing this cabinet once back in the day at a theme park and being like, holy shit this looks awesome while watching the demo mode and the screen damage affects themselves like scratches and bite marks you'll get throughout play and also the scaling it does overall looked really cool even back then the boss encounters in this game especially look cool there's also some really crazy spark work here but sometimes it's downright grotesque but it looks fucking sick doing it the final boss is even pretty gnarly looking too but you have to keep your fire under control and not shoot too much otherwise you'll destroy the escape ship and not be able to escape giving you a different ending but all in all the graphics department is mad solid here Sound wise, Space Gun also slaps with a soundtrack from Zuntado that sounds like a cross between the action scenes and the aliens, and at times tunes you'd hear playing some Williams pinball machines. Attack from Mars comes to mind mainly. But the music here is pretty tight, with a mix of creepy ambience to charged up belters as you storm the colony. Sound effects also got a good bit of punch in them here too, and the gun effects and sounds of ripping aliens apart one round at a time is all relatively solid. There's even a bit of voice synth here, while it's minimal, still sounds pretty good when you do get to hear it. Space Gun is a rad on-rail shooter that's a little bit out of the ordinary, and being from Taito you can expect it to be challenging and fun to run through every so often. The aliens vibe is totally there, and in turn has a really solid shooter behind it, while also being surprisingly gorgeous for the time it was released. If you see the cabinet version of this anywhere, throw some quarters in it and give it a go, otherwise it's available on the Taito Legends Volume 1 compilation for the original Xbox and PlayStation 2. Space Gun gets an 8 out of 10 and comes recommended to rail shooter fans or arcade game fans in general, since this one is quite literally a blast to play through. And if you made it this far in the video, I thank you for watching. If you find this video is helpful, that's awesome. I'm glad you used it as a resource. Check back often, we'll have more video reviews and commentaries coming up in the near future. But until then, stay safe out there, take it easy. I'll see you on the next one.